Welcome! We are Two Finger Spirits. We got the camera shy camera guy. Hello. And his trusty assistant. Woo! And a live studio audience. Woo! Yes. We got three chord. What are the three chords? The third chord. Third minor? This is uh, on loan from us from our great friend, Gary the Great. Thank you, Gary. He's isn't he awesome? No, we're really lucky. He's have, given have us so support. many wonderful bottles to try, and uh, we really appreciate it. Um, so do you know who Neil Geraldo is? No, no idea, do you? Yeah. What about you, live studio audience? Do you know who Neil Geraldo is? I do not. Do you know who Pat Benatar is? I do. Neil Geraldo is her husband and her guitar player. Whoa. And this is his whiskey venture. Okay. So a lot of these celebrity whiskeys, they uh, they don't perform very well, right? We've done the Bob Dylan one. That was pretty good. We like the Nick Offer Offerman one. The Nick Offerman the collaboration with uh, Lagavulin. Lagavulin. That was that was fantastic. Probably the best uh, celebrity one out there. Um, the McConaughey one with uh, gentleman uh, uh, Jack Daniels, right? Right. Long Branch. I don't remember. That was a good one. So there's a couple of good ones. So we're gonna see how good this one is, or how much we like it, anyways. The distillery is undisclosed. It's sourced from somewhere in Kentucky. Um, and then I guess their headquarters is in New York, but the bottle says Michigan. So we got Kentucky, New York, and Michigan. Take Except your pick, right? A headquarters? Headquarters. You need yeah. a corporate headquarters? You need a corporate headquarters. Okay. And uh, Gary said he bought this for $60. This happens to be a store pick from a place here in Connecticut called Green Farms. But they, they offer a single barrel offering. I think the normal single barrel offering is called a, a 12 bar reserve and it's um, a 12 year old. This is seven year old. Okay. Uh, this mash bill is 70% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley. It's a seven year old. Proof is 119.2 and it's a nice color. We so move on to color. the nose. We should probably talk about the color, right? The color, everyone's color. <laughs> All right, we're looking at like, a honey color here. But what I notice about this one, it's not as clear as, as t our typical whiskeys are. Does it see a little bit of cloudiness in here? Real cloudy. What do you think, man? It looks like the color of bourbon. Let's taste it. <laughs> How's that spin in action? Not too bad. I'll take it. All right, now that we've coated the glass, let's get a good, a good smell on it. Definitely hot, 119 proof. You get barrel spice, get the oak. I get the rye, and, I, and I'm and i really picking up on the barley on it. Rye and barley, really? I don't remember, what was the, just remind me, what was the mash bill? 18% um, rye, 8% malted barley, and that was 74% corn. All right. Yeah, it's like definitely Newspaper. Rye, definitely rye, I mean, and also getting almost like a cardboard or a graham cracker. I was gonna call it newspaper. Uh, you said cardboard or graham cracker? And graham cracker. Oh, and. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I think I did Card say or. Cardboard and. Or cardboard, cardboard and. Or. Oops. I was going to call it newspaper, but I could say I could say see cardboard, stone fruit, and hay. Right. You know, like a it's, stone fruit is like a, you know, like a peach, a plum, anything with one of those big uh, right. seeds in it, right? Um, and hay. And a light little bit of cherry, I think. A little hint of cherry. Like a hint. Mm. Alright, going for it. I think cherry's the per predominant note on the palate, right? Mm. With some raisin. It's tannic, right? You get you definitely get some of that bitterness from the wood. Yep. Right? Um And I get some some of that barrel char. I wonder what what char level the barrels had. This almost tastes like almost more like a rye to me, even though I know really? it's not. Really? Yeah. I don't get that at all. I get a I get a heavy rye rye spice on it, and then it moves into almost like a, a dark fruit or like a, a raisin. I get raisin and I get cherry and on the palate tannic finish. Finish is nice, long lasting. There's some leather in there. There's definitely the, the bitterness from the wood. I feel like the, the finish goes in a little bit of a cherry too. Mm -hmm. I, I just, this is delightful. Mm -hmm. 
dries out the mouth. It's got a nice mouth feel. Dries out that your tongue, you know. Right. Now how these higher proof ones sometimes make your uh, tongue feel like an eraser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I like it. Um, yeah, I get dark cherry on the finish. Some leather. Some of that bitter tannics from the wood. It's nice. I tell you, the more I sip it, the more I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first sip, I had to get that burn off. But uh, the second sip, you really, the flavors really start coming out. The first swallow was quite hot. Yeah. And now uh, I think I'm more... I'm, I'm ready for it and it, it's it's definitely a lot more pleasant it was because we sipped this a little bit before we started the video kind of gathered our thoughts on it and uh, i didn't like it as much as i like it now I a agree. couple minutes ago yeah. it's definitely growing on me and i bet you this would develop nicely maybe if you put a drop of water in it you feel free I'm, i probably won't do that yeah so they offer the um a barrel proofed, it's called a 12 bar reserve. All right. And that mash bill is a little bit different because it's 80 for 84 percent corn. This is 74, and it's 8 percent uh, rye. This is 18, and then 8 percent malted barley stays the same. I would try that. I mean, that's a 12 year, and I, mean, I think that goes for like 70. That'd be worth. I think it'd be worth a shot. Yeah, I wonder what 12 more years in the barrel would do to it. So. Uh, or five more years. Would you Would you get this again for 60 bucks? I wouldn't keep it in stock, but I probably would buy this maybe once a year. Yeah. Just to have yeah. it in and change it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm it's sure just... our other stores have store picks of it that are very similar. It's a single barrel release, so, you know, no two are ever going to be the same. But I, I think it's uh, well worth it. You know, the single barrel barrel proof by Jack Daniels, 65. This right. is 60. Right up there around 119. And it's a little bit different flavor profile than the, you know, than the SVVP, obviously. Yeah. But it's a, it's a nice different profile. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's really, it's really nice. Um, so I, I would definitely try other offerings for them. I think I'm going to look for that 12 bar reserve. That's okay. a nice 12 year, right? I see mm -hmm. how that is. That's only ten dollars more MSRP anyway. I think it's definitely worth a shot. Who knows what I'll find it for here in Connecticut? True. It's going to cost you 12 golden bars. So this is a three cord single barrel from Green Farms here in Connecticut. So my quote is from Harlan Howard. You know who Harlan Howard is? There. Uh, Live studio audience, I do not. you consider yourself a country girl, and he was one of the great country singers of yesteryear. All right. And he said, to write a great country song, all you need is three chords and the truth. Oh, you like great. that? That's a good one. Like so like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for joining us. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Three chords.